Hey again everyone, back from vacation and back at it, getting the fuel tank uh, sealed up. Got to put on the fuel center unit and the fuel gauge here, which is, uh, let me get started on a minute, breaking out the new tube of Pro Seal. Can't rave enough about that stuff, I just absolutely love it. Um, highly recommend it if you're going to be working with any Pro Seal or doing any fuel tanks or anything like that. Uh, on the fuel center unit, there is a little tab that has to be facing uh, the correct way. So you see me put that on a little bit right there. Um, and then getting all of the hardware put on to uh, to do the uh, leak test, you have to wait for the tank to dry. So I actually do the leak test a couple days later. Well, folks, I'm completely shocked. This uh, glove has been on here for a couple hours and it hasn't moved. The tank's holding air. It is a sealed fuel tank. I can't believe it. I was almost certain that I was gonna have a leak somewhere just because one, never having really messed with Pro Seal before and you know, this ticking this on. Um, but I sprayed the whole tank down with uh, soap water and Windex and never found any, any air bubbles. Um, Took me a little bit to get the glove on there and seated, sealed with some tape, but uh, after a few trials, I uh, got that done and put some air in the air valve enough to uh, get the glove standing up. And what do you know? And it's all cleaned up. Got all the extra goop off. So see y'all soon. All right, back to installing the fuel tank and uh, getting this thing seated in. You have to uh, put this plate in the back and drill some holes, make sure that uh, everything's all lined up properly so you get a good fit of the fuel tank in the baggage compartment. Here we are installing the, some of the front uh, fuel, not valves, but uh, I guess crossovers um, where the fuel lines will attach to. And then you have to drill a hole in the uh, the tab of the fuel valve that mounts in the back of the plane. And then now we're installing that, making sure to get everything you know torqued down correctly. And then also riveting on, uh, there's a back plate that goes behind the fuel valve you have to put in. So getting that put in now. And starting on the fuel lines. Yeah, it's been fun. Actually, I already have to order a new coil of fuel line. So I'll talk to that in a little bit. All right, guys. So hitting a bit of frustration here. Um, not sure. So they have you make this bend. This is the very first bend in the fuel line you do. This 38 degree bend here, as you can see there in the plans. They have you make the bend. They make you first flare, uh, your 37 degrees flare on the outside of this. And then after you flare it, then they have you bend the tube. Well, that's the first problem because when you bend the tube, it destroys the flare and then you have to reflare it again. So I'm not sure why they have you do it in that order. Um, I don't know, maybe you can help me out, see if I'm missing something here. But then after that, so you get the bend right. And as you can see, I've got that correct and lined up the way it's supposed to be. Um, then they have you install the, the sleeve and the nut up against this, the flare, but the problem is the bend, it will not slide on. I've put some oil on it. I've tried to wiggle it on with um, some pliers and nothing's working. So uh, yeah, not sure. Maybe have to wait until Monday to give Vans a call, but the other issue I was having was with this fuel tank, and I didn't get any of this on video, but they have you put this plate in here. They want you to put this plate in first and screw that plate down and then try to put the fuel tank in. Well, that is impossible to do. Um, there's some tabs on the bottom of this mount, this bracket here. And as you can see, it's kind of marred up this, uh, this plate here because you cannot get this tank on with those tabs down there. They, they hit up against it. I've twisted and tried to fit this thing in there every way. It's a very tight fit, by the way, but 
it is impossible to get that tank on there with that on. So you have to take that off, put the tank on, then slide that in place um, to get it in there and then screw it down. That was the only way I was able to get that tank on. But yeah, the fuel system's throwing me for a loop here a little bit. Um, maybe I have to call about this uh, Monday, but I'll let you guys know if I get any updates. See you soon. All right, so as you saw there, a little bit of frustration with the uh, fuel line. This is actually the first fuel line that gets installed. And this fuel line goes from the bottom of the tank to that fuel valve that we uh, installed earlier uh, and on the back of the plane. So uh, I was able to, to get that bushing, that, that sleeve uh, around that bend, uh, just using a pair of channel locks, uh, just pushing it, just kind of forcing it through, and it actually turned out okay. But here I actually made a mistake uh, with that sleeve. I, uh, I put that sleeve on before I made that 90 degree bend and didn't slide it up before I made that bend. So then I wasn't able to get that sleeve on. So I need to say that whole section um, is trashed. I thought about just calling it a day after this because I was getting, you know, getting frustrated. But um, cool down for a minute and decided to just start over. So here I am starting that fuel line over again. Going to make that 38 degree bend in the front that comes out of the bottom of the fuel tank. And then uh, getting that installed and then working on this front fuel line. And I'll talk to that in a little bit. All right. Got the fuel line finally installed. The return bypass line finally installed in the front. This was just, you know, this tube the bypass line is way too long to be able to fit inside of here and get through that little bitty um, bushing they have there. Um, I had to bend the tube and then try to bend it back once I got it in there. It's just, I don't know, this is just uh, frustrating to say the least. But now I'm at a point, um, so after you get this installed, then you have to flare this in. Well, there is no way I can fit my flare tool in there. Excuse me. No way to fit my flare tool in there to uh, flare the end of this thing. So I don't know what I am going to do now. Um, any suggestions, let me know. Leave a comment. But I'm at a standstill right now until I can get this figured out. Fuel system's throwing me for a loop. See y'all soon. So sorry, this has been a little bit of a longer video than normal. Um, but here are just some pictures of that rear fuel line that I was had to redo, but uh, finally got installed. Turned out pretty good.